how I do the Rubik's This is how I do. Now I'm going to tell you how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Firstly, you have to know the fundamentals of the Rubik's Cube. There are three layers of the Rubik's Cube. First one is the top layer. The second one is the middle layer. And this is the last layer, the bottom layer. Now, let's go up to the pieces and learn them. There are three types of pieces in the Rubik's Cube. The first one is the edge piece. The edge pieces have two colors. For example, look at this. This is an edge piece. This there's the edges. This is the corner piece. There are three colors in a corner piece. Like this. This is a corner piece. There are four corner pieces near one color like an edge piece. These are the center pieces. Center pieces always remain in the same place. They never move. Now let's learn the notations. If we turn the right layer clockwise, it's R. If we right, if we turn the right layer anti-clockwise, it is R dash. If we turn the left layer clockwise, it's L. If we turn the left layer anti-clockwise, it is L dash. If we turn the top clockwise, it is T. If we turn the top anti-clockwise, it is T dash. If we turn the front clockwise, it is F. If we turn the front anti-clockwise, it is F dash. If we turn the down layer clockwise, it is D. If we turn the down layer anti-clockwise, it is D dash. We have learned the, all of the 10 notations. Now we can go to solve the Rubik's Cube. If you solve simple algorithms, you can do it very easily. Because I know it and you can know it too. Okay, now let's go on. Firstly, we have to select one center pieces and put it in the top. I selected white. Now, we have to look for a white edge piece. Can you look? You found one? 
Yeah, what is it combo? Yeah, blue. So let's take it right here. Match it to blue. Is this blue? No. So we have to take it this side. You see. Now is this blue? No, let's do it. Is this blue? Yes. Now let's do a simply algorithm. R dash, D dash, R. See, it got matched. Now we can go and put it to the top. You see, I matched the white centerpiece with the white color and blue with the blue. Like the same way, we're going to do a white plus. So, search for a white edge piece and bring it to the down layer. You, you see and see how I'm doing it. Now it already matched, right? So just bring it to the top. You see? Just check. Now you can see it one more time because that was an easy one. What? <laughs> Everything's going crazy today. Okay. Yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you this one. See, now I did, and white plus, it matched with, it matched with orange, green, red, and blue, and they all matched with white. No. Now we have to solve the corner pieces. Search for a white corner piece. Look very closely. You see two of them. I'll select the down one because it's much easier. This white corner piece uh, has red and green. We need, to place we need to place it between red and green centerpiece. But right now, it's between orange and green centerpiece. Move the down layer to the right side. You see, now I placed it between red and green centerpieces. Now, let's do a simply algorithm to put it back to the top if it is in the left side push it to the right side if it's in the right side push it to the left side okay d dash l d l dash you see now it match there need to be a t and this all needs to match with all of mm. these whites this needs to be a white this needs to be a white and this needs to be a white like the same way we have to look for a white corner piece and we have to bring it to the down layer and apply the algorithm now it matched there must be a t but it's not a t two more pieces left Sometimes if we work on the corner pieces, then the edge pieces and the white plus will disturb. So you have to replace it and put the corner piece back. And now I'm going to show you how to do that. Now it didn't match up right. So you have to put it down like this. And move the down layer in any of the sides. And bring back the white edge piece to the top to reposition the white plus. Repeat the same algorithm until all of the white corner pieces yeah. comes to the top layer. You see now it's matched. And already some of them are teased. This is the last piece. Sometimes the corner pieces will be downwards, the white color will be downwards. So you could do it two times or three times to match it with the white again. Check, check, check. Now we're gonna solve the second layer. 
third step. Always the opposite of the centerpiece white is yellow. So that's why you have to look for edge piece doesn't have yellow. So look for one. I see one which is orange and blue. Now see I matched it with center blue piece. Now the combo of blue is orange right. So we do not have to put this here. We have to put it the opposite side. And now R dash D dash R. You see now I did it but you see the corner piece got this the we have to reposition it to place again right here and now i can do with that there we go and you see what the color is matched sometimes we may get the second kiss like which we don't have an edge piece without yellow combo having yellow this is having yellow this is having yellow and this is having yellow in that case we have to get an edge piece that is left side of the wrong edge piece right now got an edge piece without yellow combo so you can see one more time how i'm gonna do this now it's matched push it the opposite side and now do the algorithm always do the opposite side of where the piece goes if the piece goes this side then only do this and apply the algorithm. If it's going that side, you do this and apply the algorithm. Okay, now you see, this is all match, this is all match, this is all match. Now we start two layers. When you see a dot, you have to apply the algorithm three times. If you have a yellow L shape, then only twice holding the cube in your hands is seen in one image. In case of a horizontal line, you just have to execute the algorithm once. The algorithm is F R T R dash T dash F dash. If you get a line like this, Oh, then you have to hold it horizontally and do the algorithm. Watch me do it. F R T R T dash F dash. You see now it's plus. Move the top layer like that and check if the color matches with the centerpiece. If we match orange, they are matching orange and blue. You have to put wrongly matched edge piece on the right side and then do the algorithm. The algorithm is R T square R dash T dash R T dash R dash. Check if the, the color on your right is matching. But if the other colors are not matching, try it once again. Again, put the wrong edge piece on the right side and then apply the other. Repeat algorithm until uh, 
All the colors are matched with a plus. See? Everything's matched. Okay. Now we have to see if all of the corner pieces are matching. They are not, but except one. A correct piece is corner piece that has all of the colors near it. This is a correct piece because here's orange, here's yellow, here's blue. But these are wrong pieces like this and this and this because where's red? I don't see red. Where's orange? I don't see orange. Where's green? I don't see. So let's place the wrong piece in the left side and do one algorithm. It's L dash T R T dash L T R dash T dash. Do that and then see if your corner piece is matching. If it's not, try it again, again, to see if it's matching. Okay, these are all correct pieces because he is green, he is yellow, and he is red. This is a correct piece because he is red, he is yellow, and he is blue. This is a correct piece because he is blue, he is orange, he is yellow. So now we're going to do the last bit. Now we're going to solve the third layer. Now we put the unmatched corner pieces right side and now we're going to do this algorithm. The algorithm is R T square R dash T dash R T dash R dash L dash T square L T L dash T L Repeat it again and again until it the corner pieces uh, the corner pieces are matched with in in the same color like the this and this they're in the same color and they match with the colors. Bye-bye!